What's up guys and <laughs> welcome to Unturned. I promised you guys I was going to be playing this pretty soon and here we are. We are about to start this series. I'm really excited about this because I love this game. This is such a fun game. Um, if you don't already know, if you haven't already played Unturned, where have you been? No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> Unturned is a, is a free to play game. It's a multiplayer or single player game. It's a zombie survival game. Um, the game was designed by a guy named Nelson Sexton of Smartly Dressed Games. Um, it was released uh, for early access on Steam in, I believe, 2014. And um, just uh, earlier this summer, this year, um, it was released. Um, the, the full version was, was released on Steam. So here we are, Unturned Zombie Apocalypse Games. Uh, what you do is you go around and you try to avoid the zombies. Well, not try to avoid them, you try to kill them or whatever. You try to find food, weapons, tools, vehicles, whatever. Um, you build structures, you know, houses, buildings, whatever you need. Um, it's, it's pretty much open. It's like an open sandbox game. You can do whatever you want to do or play however you want to play. A bit like, a bit like Minecraft, but not exactly like Minecraft. Um, of course, I said there's multiple modes. There's single player mode. We have multiplayer mode, and I believe there's like a the missions that you can do, and, and you know a few other things. But what we're going to concentrate on today and in this series is um, single player. We're going to start out with single player, single player, and um, probably start with the Russia map because that's what I'm most familiar with. And then later on, we'll get into things like Germany and um, you know some of the other zones. But uh, let's jump right into it. Let's go ahead and push play, and uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go back, let's, let's, uh, let's set up our character. First things first, let's set up our character. That's, that's the character that I play with in my personal game, and we'll probably try to get our character in this series to look a bit like that. So let's go with, um, um, we don't want to be a fisherman. What we want to do, and what I, what I generally do is I start out as a farmer because what you want to do in this game, and you'll see as we go along, is is you want to find as much food as possible because if you if you don't find food and water, you're going to run out of it quick and you're going to die quick. So, I like to start out as a farmer because farmers can can uh, plant and harvest food a little more efficient than you know the rest of the uh, occupations, the skill sets. So let's start out with farmer, and then we may change that later on to maybe something like um, I don't know. Uh, special ops or police officer or, or whatever whatever we're going to do so let's let's go back since we have that and let's set our appearance now what i like to <laughs> you have all these different faces here and some of them are pretty crazy funny looking faces but uh, what i like to play with is this right here i think that looks really cool i love the red zombie eyes and uh let's see let's do the hair uh what do we want to do let's do just a little mohawk, <laughs> get a little bit of a mohawk going there, and let's see, let's scroll on down to beard styles, do I want a beard? Yeah, 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 I want a beard, I like the long dread beard, <laughs> and guys, I have also, um, the, the game is free to play, but you can, you can pay for the, uh, what is it, the, the gold um, upgrade, uh, gold, I believe that's what it's called, gold upgrade, and you can get a lot more options like like I wouldn't have all these options right here with the hair and beard styles and the skin color and all that all that stuff if I hadn't have bought the uh, the gold um, whatever it's called I forget now what it's called but um that unlocks a whole lot of a whole lot more stuff in the game that you have access to and it's only five dollars guys spend five dollars and you can unlock a lot more things so let's go with our skin color. I like to set my skin color at yellow, and I cannot remember what yellow. I believe it's um, it's purple. Yeah, we're getting close to it now. Let's go with more of that color. Yeah, kind of a yellowy skin. <laughs> and um, hair color, I like the the bright blue. So let's go with bright blue. Let's make that more of a royal blue. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So this is what we got, guys. We have a yellow man with red eyes and blue hair. <laughs> okay. And we're, we're going to go with right-handed because I am right-handed. 
and I'm gonna see if I can make that skin a little bit brighter. I don't know if I can do that. Let's see. No, that makes it more orange. That's that's cool. That that looks good. All right. So we got our we have our character, our mohawk, blue-haired, red-eyed character. Now let's go back and um let's see what else do we need to do inventory no we're not into that yet let's go back and click play and we will start with our single player and we have maps like uh, Germany PEI which is Prince Edward Island Russia Washington and the Yukon so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start with Russia and jump right into it now this will take a little while to load up so I'm going to skip through this part. All right, here we are, guys. We are in Russia. It looks like we have spawned next to the ocean here. What you see over there in the distance is an oil rig. We'll get into that much, much later. The oil rig is, is more advanced in the game than, than what you want to get into right off. It's a, it's a dead zone, which means it's poison. The, the air is... is is toxic around the oil rig and on the oil rig you will find lots and lots of zombies and even I think there's one mega up there but the reason you would want to go over there is because the the grade of weapons that are over on the oil rig are very very high grade and um, later on you may want to get into getting over there by either by boat or by helicopter there's helicopter pads on top of the oil rig Right, right now what we want to do is we want to find food and the quickest way to find food I believe is either either going and um, looting a restaurant or going to a farm like this right here I'm glad we spawned next to this now there are zombies all around this farm as you can see and they are not friendly so do not try to approach and shake their hands because they will not only shake your hand but they will tear your hand off and shove it down your throat but what you want to do is quietly sneak into the barn. I see there's no zombies down here. There may be one up here. No, I don't see one. Good. So I don't have to sneak right now. Oh, good. Pitchfork. You can use that as a weapon. So we'll go ahead and grab the pitchfork by pushing F. And that equips it. Uh, tomato seeds. Yes, we do need that. Oh, look at that, guys. We have a sports shot. Sports shot is not a very good gun, but if you don't have a gun, it's a great gun to have <laughs> because any gun, anything that will put you at a distance from the zombies uh, so you can kill them at a distance is good because um, you don't want to get up close to them, especially when you're first starting out, in, out into the game because they're, some of them are pretty quick and some of them will, will kill you pretty instantly. We have an arrow. I could find a bow and arrow later or a crossbow. That's good. Hat. You want to pick that hat up because even if you don't wear it, you can tear it into the rags and make ra make uh, bandages out of those rags. So let's uh, since I have this pitchfork, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot my gun just yet because if I do that, let me take a look at the gun. Yeah, see, I have two bullets in that gun, and if I shoot, it's going to attract all the other zombies to me even if I kill this guy with the gun um, it's going to attract every other zombie to me and just starting out in the game you, you're not very you're not very skilled and you could die by doing that so what I want to do is quietly sneak up on the zombie you see his back is turned to me what you want to do is push X and that will make you crouch or Z will make you lie down I like to go with X because um, you can be quiet, but you can move a little faster. So if you move with X, and you still want to be a little quiet and sneak, sneak up slowly because if your skill set is not upgraded, um, the zombies can still hear you. And, and I'll get into the skill, skill set upgrading later. But zombies can still hear you even if you're trying to sneak up to them. So you want to be really careful. Sneak up to the guy and hit him in the head. Do it again. <laughs> See, he got me. They're pretty quick. See, he already took damage off of me. He, he took um, more than a quarter. Oh, but he dropped a crossbow, and that is extremely good. Let's go ahead and pick that up and equip that. You want to equip that by pushing G. That will take you to your menu. 
you'll take your sport shot out of the menu and I do not have a place for the sport shot just yet so we're just going to throw it aside equip the crossbow perfect now the good thing about the crossbow is you can shoot zombies from a distance but um, it doesn't make noise so if you kill a zombie from a distance make sure I have I have one arrow and there should be one arrow in the crossbow so two arrows I believe that's two no wait I, can, I have more than I have three arrows two arrows here and then one in the crossbow so if you shoot a zombie with the crossbow it makes no noise and you won't attract the zombies to you if you do that so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to use the crossbow you want to shoot them in the head there we go no noise we haven't attracted any zombies so you want to go back over here and you can reuse the arrows they will they will degrade see that one's already at 95 percent when it was at 100 percent which is fine uh, potato seed yes we do want more seeds uh, we'll get into farming I'll show you how to do that later so let's go ahead and sneak in here and see what we have I want to stay away from that guy right there I'm gonna grab this corn seed they have pants over there which I do want to grab those because I can make bandages out of the oh look we have another crossbow we already have one so let's don't grab that one grab these pants and let's see what our clothing looks like we have we already have a farmer bottom it's at 17% this one's not much better but I'll go ahead and put it on anyway and oh this one's 70% let me go grab that and what we can do with these two is we can tear them into rags to make bandages and once you um, let's see where my hat that's at 50 percent this one's 56 I'll go ahead and use that one and once you tear enough rags you can make bandages and then you can heal yourself with the bandages so let's uh, go over here all right here we go you see this guy right here that is a crawler the crawlers are very slow but they're very tough to kill well I'll say very they take more take more hit than um, than regular walkers or the uh, what I call the runners Let's see he's moving slowly and I did not I did not um, reload my arrow but see you see how slow he moves instead of one arrow like the other guy he's probably going to take at least two arrows to kill him so let's <coughs> shoot one reload two yeah two arrows so I'm going to keep that in mind. You can kill those guys. Actually, you can get away from them pretty easily, but um, it usually takes more than one shot to kill them. This guy right here, I can sneak up behind him, put an arrow into him. If I, if I load my crossbow, I need to remember to do that. I don't see any runners around. I want to show you guys the runners. Now the runners are easy to kill with one shot. They take less shots, but those things will run at you and they'll be on top of you before you know it and they will kill you pretty quick. So you'll want to keep your distance from them. Those are the guys you want to shoot. You don't want to walk up to those guys and try to stab them unless your skill set is is up uh, enough where you can do that. Alright, we have pants, pants. All right, I've already filled my inventory. What is this? Shovel. All right, let's see if we can tear these things into rags. Push G. Uh, go to craft. Um, you have your clothing there. So go ahead and tear these pants into rags because we don't need those. And tear that hat. And you'll go to the, the cross here that supplies. And you can see now you have the option of making rags. Go ahead and make up all of those and then you have the option of making bandages now so we make the white bandages and then you have the dressing bandages which are the best bandages they heal you a lot a lot better than the white bandages do uh let's go ahead and pick up this shovel and turn that into scrap metal um push craft and you'll go to uh tools you see your shovel is here and go ahead and turn that into scrap. 
and then let's see we'll go back to our inventory and you'll see the pants right here the, they're not in your inventory but they are nearby so you can go ahead and pick them up while you're in your inventory and put those aside now those are at 100 percent I'm gonna want to wear those and then scrap the ones that I'm already wearing so now I've switched those out and have the 70 percent here go ahead and push craft and then go to um, the uh, the apparel option and tear those into rags and there we go okay let's see what else we can find out oh look at that I didn't see that earlier we have a chainsaw now the chainsaw is something that you really want to pick up because that is a very very good melee weapon let's go ahead and equip that instead of the pitchfork and we will scrap that pitchfork we have fertilizer here I guess this stuff must have just spawned here anyway uh, let's go ahead and pick that up and scrap that as well uh, yeah yeah yeah. let's scrap that go to apparel scrap it go ahead and make up some more bandages there we go okay and there we go now I want to show you guys the chainsaw this thing is awesome let me make sure where this is 59 percent it's not real healthy but we can do some damage with it so let's get away from that guy I don't, I don't like using the chainsaw on the crawlers because they can chomp at your ankles but um here we go we got a guy standing in the wheat right here let's get over close to him and there we go <laughs> I love the chainsaw guys that's my favorite melee weapon if I can find a chainsaw I am happy in this game alright so let's get inside the house here and see there's stuff that can spawn inside the house we have oh look at that we have a hawk hound now that that's a good gun you'll want to pick that out pick that up let's throw the uh, sport shot down because that's not a very good gun we'll keep the hawk hound uh, pick up the potato seed and have some bread there it's at 35 percent we'll go ahead and pick it up we may not eat that because it's bad and it, it could poison us candy bar 25 percent not gonna pick that up but if we get desperate eggs 44 percent I guess those are okay if we get desperate we can eat those things um, like I said they will poison you if uh, I do want that that's a juice box they will poison you um, if they're below I think like 40 or 50 percent I forget now which which it is but um, let's, uh, let's throw away this arrow because it's already at 27 percent I'm gonna grab that lettuce there because we can turn that into seed and we want to grab that um, juice box let's go ahead and scrap these pitchforks here to get it, give us a little more room in our inventory Scrap that, scrap that. There we go. Good. Alright. So, make sure we don't have anything else in here. I think that piece of lettuce was the last thing that was in the cabinets there. Let's go upstairs and see what we have. There's a shovel right there. We don't need that. Um, bag of chips, 56%. Yeah, we can use that. That's good. Um, now the bars over there on the left that you see that's those uh, are meters for different things the top is our health um, that will start going down if, if you start um, starving or if you start um, losing water or if a zombie scratches you and you start bleeding out or if you are poisoned all those things will make that red line at the top go down and the further down it goes the less healthy you are and if it gets all the way to the bottom you die <laughs> and um, when you die you lose all your stuff and you have to respawn somewhere else in the game and I don't know how long it takes for your stuff to despawn but it will despawn after a while just like in Minecraft and if you don't get back to it in time you lose it and you have to start all over again which is usually the case if you're first starting out and you don't know where things are you you 
usually they lo lose all your stuff because a lot of times you won't be able to make it back. I love this thing. <laughs> okay, let's get over here to, let's see, did we already, we didn't loot the, the windmill. Let's, let's loot the windmill because there could be a few seeds or other types of food in there. Stay away from the crawler. And I see another farm over there. We'll loot that as well. We we'll want to find some different clothing though, guys, because that's 100% right there. Um, I don't let's see farmer top. Oh, my farmer top's at 33%. So I want to go ahead and pick up this this 100% farmer top, and then go ahead and pick up all my stuff. Uh, that that and that now that I can scrap and I will go ahead and scrap that farmer top I don't think I need that red shirt so I can go ahead and scrap that as well so go to craft scrap that and let's see I don't have enough inventory space mmm why can't I throw down what is this? Schofield? I don't have a Schofield, so I'll go ahead and throw that down and pick up the, the seed. And... Mm, 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 mm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw down these uh, pieces of cloth here and scrap this red shirt into more cloth. And then go ahead and pick those up um, by pushing Control and the right mouse button you can pick them up instantly like that so make sure there's nothing back here and then we'll head to another place to possibly find some better clothing that will hold more there's another farm over here which is going to have about the same stuff as this farm here did and there's also I believe campsites uh, like camp campgrounds over here where you can find uh, different things like a map, like a fishing pole, uh, different things like that. And there's also vehicles. If you find a vehicle, um, if it has gas in it, you can use that to travel around in, which is very, very handy. So let's go ahead and get over here. Um, I'm going to spare you the, uh, the cross-country trek here, and I'll skip through all this. Okay, so we're back over here to the second farm. Let's see what we have inside the house first, since we're closest to the house. You can see we have the ocean there on the right. Um, and speaking of the ocean, the ocean in on the Russia map is a good, um, what do you call it? It's a good landmark to go by. Uh, you can always tell which direction. If you're on the shore, you can always tell which direction you're going. Uh, whether the, the ocean is on your left or on your right. You can generally get around in the southern part of the Russia map by just basing your, your movements on the, uh, the ocean. Let's go ahead and get in here. We, oh, great, guys. We have a backpack in here, which is perfect. This is what we need. Go ahead and pick that up. And it's at 100%. So now we can pick up a lot more. See, we have more space in our inventory with the travel, the orange travel pack. Go ahead and pick up that seed there, and pick up that hammer, we'll use that later. Pick up that farmer top, make sure there's no zombies in here, nope, okay. Corn, it's uh, it's at 12%, but that's okay, we can turn that into seed. Pick up that juice box, it was at 37%, but that's alright, 42%, it's not bad. I mean, it's not horrible. It's it's bad, but not horrible. I don't think 42% will poison us. If it does, it won't do much damage. I'm gonna check inside of the washing machines because things can hide inside of there. I have a hockey stick. I can turn that into scrap metal, but I'm not going to waste the inventory space right now. Uh, we have duct tape. We can always use duct tape. And what is this? Uh, jeans. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up because I'm not sure how much inventory space the jeans hold. I think the farmer's top can hold a little more. So we'll go ahead and, and 
keep the farmer top on and we'll check how much inventory space the jeans have. We may want to switch that out later. All right, let's go to our crossbow. Make sure we're reloaded here. Um, go ahead and pop this guy. Reload it again. <coughs> pop him again. There we go. Now go over here and pick up our arrows. Make sure you go and retrieve your arrows because you'll want to use those again. Now that arrow right there is getting very low in health. If they get down to zero, then they're just pretty much worthless and you can just throw those away. We'll go ahead and pop him. Oh, look, another chainsaw. I wonder, let's see, where's our chainsaw? Is 51%? So let's see what this one has on it. 58%. We'll go ahead and pick that up and sort that out later. Pick up our arrow. And I want to reload. I think I already did that, but anyway. Pop this guy. And he dropped, let's see, a sports shot magazine, which we don't have our sports shot anymore. So we'll just leave that there. Let's go ahead and pick up, let's see, tomato seeds. Perfect. And wheat seed. And a farmer top. And a farmer bottom. Let's go ahead and scrap those things. There we go. That's good. All right. Now, the day and nights on this game last um, a lot longer than in Minecraft, but it still does have a day-night cycle. So you'll want to be mindful of where the sun is or what how much time you have in the game because once it gets dark, it gets really dark and it's hard to see and you don't want to <coughs> run into any zombies while it's, while it's dark because that's not fun so let's see oh here we go guys ammo this is something that you want to find uh, ammunition boxes are very useful um, you can uh, reload your your weapons with ammunition Make sure there's nothing. Oh, here's another arrow. Perfect. It's at 49 percent. Not not terrible. Um, I'm gonna take care of this guy. All right. I have more more seeds. Perfect. And eventually we're gonna want to go ahead and and find a spot to plant these seeds because you want to get those started so that uh, you don't run out of food before your crops come in. All right, let's go on down, go on down the road here and um, see what else we can find. There's more than farms on here. Like I said, there's campsites and there's um, there's other things, and I'll show you those things once we approach them. I'm gonna go ahead and walk down the road, and I will get back to you guys whenever we get close to something else. Hello, <laughs> 